Hello and welcome to the start of a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to deal with error messages. In this case, we'll be looking at the unexpected EOF error message and then what I'll be doing is running you through a few different examples of how this error message will come about and then I'll be showing you how you can resolve it. The idea of these tutorials is to stop you from panicking and to help you to remain calm when these error messages start to appear. Now, EOF stands for end of file. So what you'll get in this error message is it will sort of, it will, you'll, it'll read through the line of that file or that, through the line of that code. And then when it gets to the end of that file, something unexpected happened and it was through this result. Let's go through the first example. So in this first example, we're going to use a simple print function. Now you may use print for various different ways as like a check or to actually show your output. Here, we're going to use it to show our output. So I've got two variables, x equals 4 and y equals 2. What I'm going to do is print x minus y and print x divided by y. So if we do it correctly, you should get the values of 2 and 2. Now, in the real world, you could be dealing with a lot more variables, they're a lot more complex, and then your print value could have many more brackets than the three sets I've got here. And it's perfectly feasible to miss out your last bracket. And then if you were to run that code now, you'd get the unexpected EOF error message. So in order to solve for it, all you need to do is to remember to close off all of your brackets. And that's the first example. The second one involves dictionaries. So I've created a dictionary here called D1. And then in curly brackets, I've got video as the key and analyst rising as the value. And if I were to print it correctly, using D1 and then in square brackets, specifying the key, and then I run it, the value is analyst rising. All good. But if I were to accidentally miss out the final bracket, similar as the first example, and then run it, we get this unexpected EOF error message. So just remember to close off the final bracket. Now in this final example, what I've done is I've created a function called one and in the one function, it's got try and accept. Now just to prove that this function works, if I run one and then the value p as one, we get the value of one because it's try and then if value p equals one and it prints one and the one has been printed. If one and I put a value of z here, we get an exception here saying name z is not defined because the value here is p and not z. And z is a variable that has not been defined. But in order to get this um, unexpected EOF error message, if you were to accidentally leave out the accept in the try and accept value or function, you'd get this unexpected EOF while passing. So if you've got any try and accept combinations in your code, just remember to include the accept. Otherwise, you'll get the unexpected EOF error message. That's all I've got for this tutorial. This is the start of a series of tutorials. So please do check out my, my upcoming ones and my other videos and do subscribe for future videos as well. Thank you very much for watching and please do share, like and comment. Thank you very much. Thank you.